The flickering light of the holy flame, bound to this mortal realm to give us hope in those dark days. I fought, wept and bled for God, and now my devotion is rewarded with the rank of a paladin. Our holy lord Phoenix is guiding the lost sheep in the shallow fog that is growing to consume our world. Years of gratitude brought me to enlightenment. As a sentinel I have spilled blood in the name of our lord. For my fallen brethren I pray to Okren so he will welcome them with his open arms. Today I received an audience. The Holy Lord Phoenix has called for me. I am a mere servant in the presence of our Lord, but I will give what I can. He bestowed upon me a task. A task that will bring us closer to a perfect world. And so he spoke to me. Paladin Barabas, your holy deeds have been noticed by Okren. Your devotion for our cause has brought you into the rank of a paladin faster than anyone else. So it lies upon me to give you a great task. For too long we have looked away while the evil was brewing in the corner of this world. An old shadow that haunts us to this day. You, Barabbas, shall recruit an army of holy warriors and cleanse the Ashlands once and for all. Go now, my warrior, your task is clear. May Okren guide you. Being addressed by my name fills me with the greatest honor. And so I will do what I got tasked. Now I need an army of loyal warriors. I need to create an outpost near the Ashlands and destroy what is lurking there. My fellow brothers and sisters, Will you take up your sword and follow me through fire and ash that await us? Join me on my holy crusade. For Okren. Hello, my fellow Okranites, and welcome to a new series. Yes, this time we are going to play the Holy Nation, and as you can see here, our Paladin Barabbas has been given the task to get rid of the Ashland. Mainly the evil that is lurking there. And for that, Barabbas needs an army of holy warrior to start his holy crusade. Now you guys need to join me, because Barabbas can't do this on his own. If you want to join this, you can go down in the comments and there's a template there. Fill it out, give me a backstory and I will add your characters with that. A quick information about this. Every character that I will add will start with their stats in their 20s. You can choose between becoming a fighter or becoming a servant. A servant does jobs, for example being a blacksmith working on fields. You can choose it if you want, I don't mind. Usually in my other playthroughs I am tending to use people for everything. But this time I wanna have the fighters and I wanna have the workers. And that's how we're going to do it. And also, before we start the series, Barabbas is going to look around in the city and he's going to see if anyone wants to join him. 
The holy temple was the first place where I spoke to my brothers. I told them about the mission that was bestowed upon me and about the importance of this holy crusade. After my speech was over, three of my holy brothers agreed to join me. The first one is an ex-sentinel with the name of Griffin. He came back from a long pilgrimage and according to him, Okren gave him a new path that he must follow, and that it is a sign that we crossed paths today. The second one is a weird one. His name is Mr. Clean Nex. He is a deformed body and the way he talks could make one uncomfortable. But I am not one to judge Okren's ways, and I shall not question him. He told me he fought alongside paladins and that he wants to follow me into the Ashlands. And the third one calls himself Davar the Dreamer. Clearly a gift from God as his visions and dreams are almost like reality. Yet he is not sure if he should call it a curse or a gift. He chose to raise his fist against the enemies of Okren and he will follow me into the Ashlands. I told my brothers to get ready, because soon we will begin our first steps. And here we are with our first community members. Well, one of them is not a community member over here. Griffin is a unique character that you could get from Kanji, but the other two certainly are. <laughs> of course, we have Mr. Kleenex here, aka the local beak thing. Beaky, you know who it is. And Kleenex has also made it into this playthrough as more or less a skinwalker. I mean, look at this majestic, beautiful being. Like I mentioned at the start, everyone starts with their stats in their 20. The only one who has higher stats is Barabas because he is a paladin. These are his stats over here. But everyone else has stats in their 20s. Then we have Davar here, which is the character from Abyss. Abyss has been on my channel for a long time now and also on Discord and everything and yeah. A long time supporter. Same goes for Beaky obviously. And well, here we have Griffin. A uh, Griffin has also stats in his 20s. Weirdly enough, toughness is at 1. Which I think is a bug that he has only one toughness, but whatever, we can uh, we can fix that. So, you might ask yourself now, Patrick, where are you going? Are you going straight down there to the Ashlands? Are you going to destroy the evil that lurks there in the first episode? No, of course not. <laughs> so my plan is the following. My plan is to build a base. I think it will be Okran's pride. We're going to build a base here, and in this base, we are going to forge our own weapons, we're going to forge our own armor, we're going to defeat some of the enemies that we have here, you know, there are the Flotsam Ninjas up here, we do fight the United Cities on this front, and we also have the Shack Kingdom over here. We're going to use this and we're going to train us up quite a bit. And once our devoted soldiers are all trained up, we're going down to the Ashlands, or at least around the Ashlands, where we're going to build an outpost. And from there on out, we're going to strike the heart of the enemies. Now this is going to be an extremely hard playthrough, as you could guess. And what we're also going to do is we're going to play this vanilla. There are only some utility mods I have on. And one of them, for example, is the Dark UE mod over here. But except for that, we don't have any game-changing mods. The reason why I'm doing this is because I've gotten a few questions. And if I cannot do a playthrough vanilla, just straight up vanilla playthrough without many mods. I mean, of course, the Dark UE here. The Dark UE is easier on the eyes. That, that's about it. That's the only reason why we're using this. And the other mods are just for my role-playing and stuff, so it looks a bit better. But that's about it. That means we have no training equipment, we have to train the old-fashioned way, and I'm really hyped for this playthrough. Obviously, since we are playing the Holy Nation, we are not going to allow any kind of other races, so no Shack, no Hivers, and obviously no Skeletons, because those are evil. Oh, and by the way, because I always forget to say this, if you don't know how this goes, and if you're new to the channel, my name is Patrick, aka Petostrophia. I've been doing this Kanji series for around 3 years now, and it always goes like this. Every new episode there will be an intro, what I have done off screen, because I'm going to level our characters a bit, so it doesn't get too tedious. 
And I'm going to recap that with an intro and also I'm going to add new community members with every new episode. So if you want to join that, there is a template down in the description, just fill it out and then you can join us in our holy crusade. I hope I'll be able to get at least like 40 people in this one, 40 to 50 people. If not, then I have to stock up on different on different recruits or maybe our other community members wanna create more than one character. We'll see. But if you wanna join this, feel free, follow the template and you can become a holy warrior. What we've also got here is the Chalice of Fire. Uh, we got this because we are very good with the Holy Nation and this is a mark of uh, this is a sign what we have done for the Holy Nation. Barabas has become a paladin extremely fast, faster than anyone else. That's why he also got this holy task from the Phoenix himself. Now what I want to do here, I want to go down to Okran's Pride. Oh, and we are instantly getting attacked here. Now this is going to be fun. Yeah, we need to try in Griffith's toughness anyway, <laughs> so there's that. There's also a group of paladins roaming around somewhere, so I could go to them. Oh, they're coming down. Yep, they're coming down, so they're going to help me anyway. It is not bad to do these fightings. We're going to need a lot of training to face the enemies in the Ashlands. Look at Kleenex fighting. <laughs> he looks so goofy. <laughs> oh, rah, a nice hit there, Dahar. Ah, my holy brothers, help me. I'm in need of aid. Oh yeah, there we go. Oh yeah, and also, what I want to make clear, we're not going to use any prosthetics. We're going to play this Holy Nation. So no prosthetics, no special technology. This is going to make this even harder. Yes, punch them while they're down. I don't think Barabas is going to get much XP from this. It was the wrong idea to mess with me. I hope it's not too dark in the game right now, but for me, uh, this area is pretty highlighted. Even at night times, you can see here because it's a yellow ground. Also, I should put my helmet back on. And I want to make sure that we're going to build our base very early on, because it's important that we're going to smith ourselves good weapons and good armor. There is a limit to what kind of weapons I can craft, because I'm not allowed to use ancient technology, so that means I need to use just normal books. But in Vanilla Kanji, the Holy Nation has really bad weapons anyway and really bad armor. So we're going to pump this up a bit. I'm obviously going to use chain shirts later on because these normal cloth shirts are really not that good. I think we're also going to uh, remove the uniform here, the style design uniform. We're going to keep the ch holy chest plate and we're going to keep the bladed boots and the helmet. But these two I will probably swap out, especially because we need to make sure what the hell is that oh we're starting bandit <laughs> we need we need to make sure that our limbs are protected because you never know what's going to happen we have arrived and there are some bone dogs here and also some weapons lying around oh we have a lost drone here obviously once we see something like this we're going to attack we are from the holy nation yes take this just imagine that this be from another universe Still is. I mean, it takes... Yeah, it takes zero because of recovery coma. We need to go back to zero, otherwise it doesn't work. So let's go back to Blister Hill. And let's go heal up a bit. Uh, I could technically buy a backpack and get some building materials ready and start off the base very early on. By the way, what I've explained to you, if you become a servant, you can also state what kind of job you want to do as a servant. If you just say whatever, then I'm going to give you the job that is currently needed. The only thing that the soldiers might do, but I, I'm trying to even take a step back from this, is they might help with, for example, just mining some iron. But except for that, I don't want my soldiers to do any kind of labor. Because usually I just stray away from this. I always say like, yep, in the next episode, Patrick, you have the workforce and you have the fight force. But then I always mix these two together, which I don't want to do anymore. I want to have the fighters and I want to have the workers. So, Barabas, you're going to grab yourself a trader's wooden backpack. I think, yeah, that's that's actually a good one. Uh, we do have some bandages. We're going to buy some more. Obviously, we have the Holy Flame in our inventory. This is necessary. <laughs> so, now where is... There is the shop that I want to get. But this is going to be so weird because I usually have shop, have more items light. Yeah, look at this. this uh, the money's so low and everything. 
Getting assaults on our base is also not a bad idea. It sounds crazy, but with the help of the Holy Nation here, we are going to have no problem establishing a base around here. So I know there's an iron resource somewhere up there. Yep, there it is. A very good iron resource it is. I don't think we're going to need much copper. I know there's copper up there, but I really do like this place here. Now this is also where I have Bill and the Livestream series though. So I could go down a bit farther. Ah, and we have copper there. I mean, the copper is really bad. Look at this. It's just like 20% quality, but uh, it is copper. Oh, we're getting attacked by raptors. Oh yeah, by the way, the raptors will instantly attack us. That is because the Holy Nation hates the raptors. That's just it. They're going to fight the raptors if they want or not. That's why we also are on bad terms with them. They are our mortal enemies after all. Oh, Kleenex is back from the dead. What the hell? Where did Barabas run to? Or was was Davar so fast? Oh no, Mr. Kleenex. That goofy looking character. No mercy for the raptors. Dun, 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 dun. Let's show them no mercy. Oh, we get 6% per hit. That's quite a lot though. That is quite a lot. That must have given... 12% per hit. I'll, I'll take it. I'll take it. Trading on raptors. There we go. Uh oh, we've got some starving bandits here. Guess they also want to fight. Gotta run. Could have sworn it was a holy patrol somewhere around. Let me prospect here quickly. There's no copper around here. Okay. Oh, we got some holy nation guys down there. Prospect again. Yeah, no copper. Help me, brothers. Challenge <laughs> Kleenex, just watch where you stick those fingers. Alright, so I think I know where we'll establish my outpost. I'm going to look farther down a bit more, but I think I've found the place. The copper node is really bad over there, but we don't really need that much copper. So that is not a problem. There's so much iron here. You could never use all of that iron. Like, it's crazy. The amount of iron could be called... Oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. Are we getting attacked again? Wouldn't be bad if we all go into recovery coma. Because then I could stand back up. I could use... Ooh, uh, wait, is this an iron deposit? It's a small iron deposit, okay. But I think I'll build my outpost somewhere around here. There's an iron here too, okay. Nothing bad should happen. Barabas is a machine anyway. Strong paladin. Okay, we're winning this anyway. Never mind. We are going to win this. I'm still gonna heal Kleenex, maybe another group comes in there. There we go, down he goes. Okay, I think I'll establish my base here. Now obviously you, you could say like, Pat, hey, you could also build something in Blister Hill and, you know, go from there. But yeah, that's boring. I wanna get some raids in early on. I want to make this a little bit of a challenge. We're going to start off the building here. We're going to make a smithy over here. And we're going to wall this off very soon. I think I'm gonna make my gate here. And then we're going to wall this off here. I can mine from here. So I can go with my wall over there pretty quickly. Now, obviously, at the start, we're going to get attacked. and But on the other hand, the attacks shouldn't matter all too much. Like, the Holy Nation should help us. They should send over their troops. And Mr. Kleenex, recovery coma? Nope. But I think Davar will be in a recovery coma. Yet... He will be. Now we're going to make them engineer. Let's go, Mr. Griffin, help him. What is this guy? That is a starving bandit. We're going to call this Crusader's Rest. I think that is pretty fitting, as this will be our main base of operation. So we're going in there, we're going to build a small tech lab. Something I want to do early on, I want to make sure we get the bats in, so we have the healing part done. The important stuff first. We need the iron plates so we can make our own. The storage boxes here. Improved mining is not really that necessary. Basic weapon smithing. Basic weapon grades. Because, like I said, the Holy Nation really. Now, Barabas, you're going back to research. Uh, what do we have here? Holy brother, you're hurt. Oh, yes, I'm hurt. Help me. Placing down a skin container early on. Oh, there we go. We just get three basic first aid kits all the time. That is pretty nice. I mean, these are the normal ones. Not that good, but hey, it's better than nothing. And while we're out here, we have one fight after the other. And we also have help from the servants and from the Holy Nation patrols. The Raptor's just running past. Fight me. 
You chopped my holy brothers. So Davar is still lying in the dirt there. So we need a little bit more money. We are currently only at 50 cats, which could be considered not that much. Well, we also have a lot of stone here, look at this. 90% stone. That's just so much skin lying around. Okay, I just made a few torch posts here, so it looks a bit better. Divine blessing, brothers. Oh, uh, do we have prayer day has arrived. Good old prayer day. So Mr. Kleenex, obviously with his holy flame. Hello, holy bro. Glorious day to you indeed. Love and devotion, brother. It is with the great sadness that I see you don't have the good fortune of living within easy distance of one of our untainted churches. And so I've come to give prayers with you here, my beloved brother. Now, take out your holy flame and press it to your heart. Now, hold it to my hand. <laughs> oh, Oakshan, Lord of Light. With this blessed body most... I mean, I don't know what you guys think, but this... This is a pure body if I've seen one. Let us not be tempted by the shadow's lure. Let us not yearn for fleshy pleasure, but yearn only for love from the Creator. Let us honor our sacred brothers. Let us abstain from the intoxications. For darkness preys on the idle mind. Let us pray for the well-being of all mankind. Until next prayer day, brother. It's been my pleasure. Same goes for me, Kleenex. Good, now since prayer day is done, uh, we're going back to work. It feels a little bit weird actually caring about prayer day. I usually don't, but this time I actually care about it. Oh, when can I learn the skin storage? I think I still can do it like this. I'm gonna give this to Griffin. Do you guys see a raptor somewhere lying around? Uh, I think that's... yeah, that's a raptor. Okay. Now Griffin should go for raging animals. Apparently he doesn't. Uh, huh, okay, didn't work this time. We can try it again later. Huh, okay, he's not doing it. Okay, he's also not doing it. Could be because we don't have a skin container. That's just my guess, but... One thing is clear that we do need more money. So, let us go and get some more skins, shall we? The dream team is going out. Let us join the fight, brothers! Look at the high paladins. That's how we are going to look later on. The only things that I would really swap out would be the jeans, I guess. Or the pants, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> I'm still not for edging the animals. So, my guess here is that they really need the skin container. That's why I'm going to sell some skin here. And I will try to get more books and maybe tack up to level 2. I could train their strength in the meantime. There is an iron resource over there, a bigger one, where I could get some iron. Then I could pick up a raptor and run around and start to train the strength. We're going to need it later on. We're going to need it. It, it it feels so weird playing the Holy Nation, really. It's it's always because usually you always go against them. I mean if you're a green or scorch lander, you don't really have that big of a problem. The start of this playthrough will be a bit easier, but the end will be hard. Taking out Catlon uh, is going to become hard. Especially because I can't use robotic limbs and I'm not able to replace them. Once a limp is gone, yeah, I, I don't know what to do. I'm not sure if there is... Yeah, I'm not using mods, so I can't even use like flashy limp mod or something like that. I could do something which could be considered cheesing. But maybe I find a nice, uh, nice way around this. So, uh, what do we food-wise? It looks like we are about to starve. Hello, holy brother. Uh, I'll go. In I'm gonna buy more books here. Seven more books. Oh, I don't have money. I need to collect more of those. The holy nation outlaws. Oh, you outlaw, Davar. Oh yes. You see how much XP he gets for that? Yeah, look at this. That's how we train up. Don't get beaten by her, please. Our holy warriors shall not do that. Barabas still researching, but he's about to be done. I need to punish him. How dare you escape from us? You guys can call me a monster, but you know that's how the holy nation does it. It's for the greater good. It's for me. How dare you? Uh oh, few too many. Oh wait, are we playing dead? No, staying low. Why are we only staying low though? Guess we're too close. Ah yeah, Barabas was... yeah. Barabas was really close. Barabas come here. Now they're all here. Gotta make sure he doesn't get hit on his leg all too much. It's not going to end up good anyways. Yeah, he's about to get knocked out because so much... Is Barabas winning? 
Davar's recovery coma, Griffin, will he stand back up? Our other characters are close, that's why he's standing back up. Barabas, you gotta help him, not just run away. Oh no, he wasn't running away, there's a huge group of raptors coming in. Now that's already a lot of chaos. He can't run away, he has to fight. Same goes for Mr. Kleenex. Just leave his legs alone, please. Now we're getting help, our holy brothers are helping us. Uh, two more out, good. Barabas still fighting there. He took out so many. Can we actually do this? First I was like, yeah, we're doomed, but apparently... Oh, man, that, that's a lot of money here. Good, we can buy more books from this. Okay, Kleenex is down. Griffin is slowly running over. That lag ain't looking so good. Okay, we got knocked out. Griffin, actually, stay back. I'm gonna heal myself, staying low there. Griffin got knocked out again, good. Okay, looks like I already did. Good. Uh, gonna take Mr. Kleenex. I'm gonna go into this building. Yeah, I need to tag up. I need some bats. I need some healing. Kleenex, put the books in there. Small houses and then tag level 2. Worst case scenario, this leg would have been gone. Still don't know what I could do to avoid losing limbs like that. Come on, Mr. Kleenex. Look how he cares for his brothers. The only thing I can imagine is if I, if I just run in and once I see someone's leg is really low, I just pick them up. That's a thing I could do. Like, that's the only thing I just realized is a possibility. Wait, Davar is back up. That means I can put them down here. Now, one add-on that I'm probably still going to install, one mod, it's just a utility mod, it doesn't change the gameplay. It is the corpse flies are silent because I can already hear the summing all the time and it's driving me slowly insane. Just some utility ones that are necessary to play the game without, you know, any troubles. Yet yeah, I'm going to use this right now here. Kleenex run over. There is a lot of skin to be harvested, and I think you're perfect for that role. I also need to buy some food because we're slowly getting hungry. And once I'll be able to build a storm house, we can start our first bats and everything. But I have a cheesy tactic how I can just defeat the raptors, because they are really easy to out-micro. That's the strategy I was using when I did my very, very first Kenshi playthrough. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yes, that's how we roll. Give me all of that nasty skin. Yeah, Kleenex, I know you want to eat that servant, but just rather heal him up. Get some hungry bandits fighting here. Do we have more raptors? Oh, Griffin is about to wake up. Spared, wait, what did he say? Let me check that. Spared by Okran, we live another day. Well said, my brother. Okay, we have 4,000 cats, uh, I think I'm going to spend this money now, because they are going to make us health, they are going to keep us full for quite some time. A faith in the light, and I was given another basic first aid kit. I forgot to give the skin from the other guys to Kleenex, it's fine. So far we got no raid from any other faction, like not the Black Dragon Ninjas or so on. I'm surprised. I have to say at least, but... Is Bad Thief closer to us? I think Bad Thief is actually closer to us. Enemy hunt. Oh, 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 <laughs> Allied reinforcements. Oh, we're going to have the first big fight at our small shack. The Shack Kingdom versus the Holy Nation. Oh, boys. Oh, boys. Oh, they are far. What, the Holy Nation is already here. Are the Horn Devils causing you troubles, my brothers? The Holy Lord Phoenix, blessed be his name, watches over you. Yes! Thank you, Phoenix! You are indeed chosen by Okran. Lord of Light, watch over us this day. Give us the strength to rebel this evil. Where are they coming from, by the way? They are coming from Squin over here, I can see. Let us pray. And now he's praying while he's waiting. They're here for 23 hours. Is that enough? Is 23 hours enough for that? This might be enough, but we'll see. Maybe that's not even enough. Then I have to fight on my own anyway. I mean, I'm not going to fight this. I'm not crazy. I am not crazy. Oh, Kleenex just came back with the food. Let's give all the skin to Mr. Kleenex. Also, I'm moving Kleenex farther in front, so... I could sell the chalice for 30,000 cats, but it's a gift from the Holy Lord himself, so none shall give it away. Okay, the others will do some strength training in the meantime. Look at how they are patrolling my outpost. Damn it, the raptors are gone. 
Okay, let's go boys. You can do this. It's just one simple minded raptor. Oh, he's not giving up. Look at him. Uh, oh, I'm still limping. I gotta get the splint kit. That's a thing I need to get. Where is... How long will I get the fan? 19 more hours. Okay, this should this should do it. They should be here in around 10 hours and then the protectors should still be there. At least I hope so. Also, guys, you can let me know. Should I take the weapons off the shack and sell them? Or should I refrain from doing this? Should it be my holy deed that I'm not doing it? They'd be like, yeah, I'm not touching these tainted weapons. Or I could also smelt the weapons in and get some iron back from this. You can let me know what you want to do because when they... I, we just gotta wait for the attack to hit us. And then we're going to end this episode and then you can let me know what I shall do with their weapons. We also need to get some pack animals. That's for sure. Oh, I see a squad of high paladins. Of oh, is this the Inquisitor that is defending our base or is this a Remnant Inquisitor? Oh, it would be great if they just come at the same time. Oh, oh, we're getting... Oh, Raptors. Good. Let me fight those. Oh, we're getting help from our brothers. Yes, look at this. We got the dust bandits here. Now, they are not going to last a long time. I'm, su I'm sure. Yet I guess I shouldn't get weakened. Or at least my holy brothers shall not get weakened by them. Stab him in the face. We don't need a friend as ugly as you. Okay, okay, they start to attack us. Never mind. I should have stabbed him in the face. Uh, it's fine. My holy brothers are going to help me anyway. Oh, 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 oh. There we go. You think wall alone will keep me from hunting your height? Um, I don't have walls, but okay. How many of them are there? They have a lot of hundred guardians there. This is going to be hard. Enemy hunters arrived. Yeah, I've seen it. Not before. Before we do that, I want to get some more skin here, please. I'm sorry, but money is more important right now than this fight. Tainted woman. Uh, look at this. An all-out fight is going on. Are my holy brothers winning or losing? I can't tell. Oh, look at the Inquisitor. The problem is our weapons suck compared to theirs. I wonder who will win this. I'm obviously just gonna watch from the side. I don't want to lose any limbs against the shack. It's not worth it. I probably should move back a bit though. Bandit demands have been defeated. I mean... Oh, look at how big she is. <laughs> look at how big she is compared to him. Yeah, they're, they're just fighting them with the sticks here. Uh, Mr. High Paladin, don't you want to help your friends? I'm just saying. Okay, we're not in a fight. We're fine. It seems like my holy brothers are losing this. This is not looking good. One shack down. These hundred guardians are pretty strong. Oh, the Inquisitor just popped back up. He's like, I'm coming for you. Ah, uh, yeah, a few paladins here, though. I think we are numbering them. That's that's why we might be able to win this. Oh, another one down. Oh, it's not looking too bad. It could also be that there's a patrol who just ran in and helped us. Oh, this holy servant just knocked them out there. Yes. Nice. I think they retreated. Yeah, they're retreating. At least it, it says this guy just stated retreating. Oh, yeah. Her arm is useless. Now she can't fight back anymore. Get them, brothers. Evil troublemaker. Mm. Oh, I underestimated them. There are still a few hundred guardians roaming around. In the meantime, we're just chilling back and just looking our brothers fight this. But I'm not as crazy. Oh, there's a patrol. Ah, yes. Oh my, she's, she's taking them on. Oh, no, she got knocked out. I mean, as you can see, yeah, the weapons are worth quite a bit. But do I want to sell these weapons? Also, what should the Holy Nation do with weapons from the shack? They would smelt it in. That's about it. They would not just sell it. Stop it, doggo. Uh oh, another doggo. Why are you attacking me, Mr. Doggo? There's no need for violence. Yet, I'm taking off your skin. Uh oh, no, lag. Kleenex, watch the lag. Oh, we can also take off their meat, by the way. This is nice starting food. Okay, how are we looking? Did we win? Can I go back there? I'm not sure what happened, but it seems like... Yeah, there's many soldiers from the Holy Nations running around. Wait, we might be able to take him on. Uh oh, no, 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 what? Where are my holy brothers? Don't know what, where, where, where did they all come from? Uh, okay, I was able to get knocked out without losing a leg or a limp. Ah, uh, why, why did I go back there? I thought they were gone, but apparently they were not. It looks like my holy brothers lost this fight. Yeah, the shack are still overwhelming us. I could swear there were maybe paladins there. Okay, uh... 
Griffin is lying there, but recovery come up. Okay, uh, anyways, guys, uh, I'm I'm recording too way too long. <laughs> I want to say thank you for watching the first episode of the Holy Crusade. If you like what you see, consider dropping us up or like the video or maybe do both. And I'm going to see you in the next one, hopefully. Hopefully I do better. And if you want to have a character, go fill out the template. Anyways, guys, goodbye and thanks for watching.